Hello everyone, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I thought I would take a chill one and just do a unscripted, unsponsored, get unready with me skincare routine video. I don't do skincare routine videos very often because my routine pretty much changes every single day. I try out a lot of different products and I also try to listen to my skin to see what it wants or needs depending on the day. Although a lot of you guys have asked what I've been using recently and also I've been getting a lot of compliments that my skin looks very good these days which I didn't really think so I was like yeah it's all right it's not like the best it's ever been but also it hasn't been freaking out or breaking out recently and especially when I look back at older videos I do see how much my skin has improved over the last couple of years. So I thought I'll get unready with you guys and show you my routine that has been satisfying my skin recently. The lighting is a little moody today as well. I even lit a bit of a candle up here even though you can't um, really see it. I'm gonna get my hair out of the way. Yes, usually I totally wear a headband, but I thought I would try to look, you know, semi-decent. Um, in a video. <laughs> so first I will obviously be removing my makeup. I am wearing waterproof mascara today, the Heroin Make one. If you have used it or know of it, you will know that this is very, very hard to remove. So I'm actually going to use the waterproof mascara remover from Heroin Make. I did kind of test this in a reel on Instagram recently and this stuff is like, if you're going to use this mascara, you need this and it makes it so much easier to remove waterproof makeup. I don't know if you can see, but it's just like a comb type mascara end and you just comb it onto your lashes. And that's pretty much it. What I do love about this is you can apply it first before you do anything else in your makeup removing process and it will literally like work while you cleanse the rest of your face making it so much easier and so much more time consuming and you can already see a little bit like transferring off of my eyes like up here. The oil cleanser I am using today is the Manual Pure Cleansing Oil. This one has surprised me. I have not used it that much so far but have really been enjoying it and I was initially put onto it because of Glow with Ava or Ava Lee. I follow her on pretty much every platform and she was saying that both her and her mum use this. So I actually got it off um, Olive Young Global because it was a brand that I hadn't heard a ton of before and isn't available everywhere but Olive Young did have it and it has a number of kind of natural oils um, blended in this oil. I know it has a hobo and then I think like sunflower seed. I don't have the full list on here but I will pop up like the oil ingredients that are in it and it is like a slightly thick texture but it is so nice and it kind of like I don't know it like hugs the skin and it feels really comfortable on the skin and just like glides across. I haven't had any issues with it not removing my makeup properly. It does have a bit of a scent. It's kind of like a spa smell, you know, it's just like relaxing. So I have been enjoying using it at the end of the day. All right, so now that I have cleansed my face to what I think is... All right, now that I have cleansed my face and lips and that, I'm going to go in on my eyes after the uh, mascara remover has been sitting on there for a while. It says to use your regular oil cleansing after you applied it. So I'm just going to go in with whatever's left on my hands. Not only do I have waterproof mascara on today, I have like pretty chunky glitter under eye <laughs> liner as well. So... See, I like literally barely nudged it. I barely nudged my eyes and it's all off already. How easy was that? So if you have struggled to get rid of that waterproof mascara, I highly, highly recommend trying the Hero and Make Mascara Remover. I bought mine off YesSell. I'm not sure who else sells them, but I will again um, leave everything in the description to make sure you guys can find it. And look, it doesn't sting my eyes. It doesn't go in my eyes. Both the two cleansing products I used, I can open my eyes without it being irritating, which is always a plus. Now I am going to go wash this off. I'm not going to do it here because that's 
that's like literally impossible. Alrighty, I am back. At this point, I do like to take a little Q-tip to get rid of any um, excess gunk that I might have, especially around my eyes. Obviously, the makeup remover removed my eye makeup pretty them well it's just like a travel container that i've got my cellar water in it's just the one i keep on my desk but i usually grab a little bit of my cellar water on a q-tip and then go in like along the lash line and along the corner of my eye i am pretty sure the micellar water i am using is the Ruvectin one i've just got a big bottle of it so i'm trying to use it up i don't know if you can really see that but it looked like there was nothing on my eye and there is like a little bit of makeup. Oh, see, this side even more so. I always tend to have like a little bit more left on my right side. Look at the Q-tip, see? Now, obviously I usually do that a lot quicker so my skin stays wet. My skin is almost dry, which is really bad. I'm just gonna mist it with, honestly, this is water. But imagine that I'm in my um, bathroom sink right now because I'm gonna go in <laughs> with my Second step cleanse, the Sana Nameraka Hompo Tonyu Isafurabon face wash. Now this is the self-firming one. Ooh, look at that nice firm. And I have been enjoying it lately um, at night, but also sometimes in the morning. I have said multiple times that I don't use cleanser all the time in the morning. Actually, there's more days that I don't use it. But if I do use like a thick sleeping mask or if I had like a pimple patch on or had like some sort of medication or something, I do like to use a bit of a cleanser in the morning. And I find this one's really gentle that it's non-drying even in the morning for my dry dehydrated skin. And it also feels like so nice compared to other foaming cleansers. I just feel like it's very soft and super silky on the skin without being drying and I have definitely been enjoying it and obviously a self foaming pump is just so quick and easy. I do have a dedicated video on like how to cleanse and the importance of cleansing so please check that out. Obviously I haven't really shown the full cleansing process in this video because I have been going out to wash my face so if you are curious and want to know if you're cleansing the proper way I would highly recommend watching that video. This one has a really simple ingredients list and then also includes um, soy extract or soy milk extract so that is said to help with elasticity and kind of like the moisture of your skin so I am going to go wash this off. Now that I've washed that cleanser off I am going to exfoliate tonight just because um, I haven't for probably like two or three nights now and I'm going to use the Neogen Wine Lift PHA Gauze Peeling. Something I have realized is that being gentle to my skin just always seems to win. I know a lot of people can take more actives and more exfoliating in that, but my skin just doesn't seem to like it. The multiple times that I've tried to be a bit more like intense and use more active ingredients or exfoliate a bit more often and this and that, it just hasn't gone that well for my skin. So everyone's skin is different and you really do have to um, experiment to know what works for you. And for me, gentle is the way to go. With this, sorry, gauze pad. I do use the gauzy side first. I don't know if you can tell. And the other side is like this padded side. But using the gauze side first, I start on the areas that probably can use the most exfoliation, the most oil, which is the T-zone. And then I move on to my cheeks. I do try to rotate through three options every night. Exfoliate one night and then alternate to a retinol the other night and then alternate to a rest night where I don't use any actives, don't exfoliate and literally just take care of my skin and hydrate it and whatnot. I say retinol although this is the one I am currently using, the sample version of the Innisfree Retinol Seeker Repair Ample. I actually do have a bigger size because I do want to keep trying to use it but I'm going to try to use up the sample first. Sue Beauty put me onto this because she was raving about it and I was like, why not? It looks like a really nice, gentle retinol because I am a very, very beginner in retinol. And I think this is a good kind of like starting point. And I use it almost every second night, as I said, every third night. And it has not caused any irritation whatsoever for me. So obviously I won't be using it tonight since I am exfoliating. Once I feel like I've kind of done enough with my lip, I then flip and then kind of just do a quick swipe. 
because you're supposed to kind of swipe off that dead skin cell that you um, exfoliated. And then I am going to go wash this off. I've read some instances where it doesn't say anything. Some people say to wash it off. But as I said, I like to always go the gentle route. And since I did kind of physically exfoliate with the pad as well, I'm not going to leave on the exfoliating ingredients for too long and with this like i've tried one of the other ones in the past but when you rinse it off you can really feel like like my skin is just so smooth and glidey i can feel my skin is just like so smooth i don't know if you can really tell on the screen but it's just like silky smooth after i use these pads and now into the good part we are going to hydrate and treat our skin to get it ready Oh, bedtime. My skin is slightly damp. I'm probably just going to um, dab it very lightly because I do want to move on with this video. A lot of the time I will leave my skin for it to like dry on its own, kind of air dry. Just because you don't really need to completely dry your skin. And products will actually absorb it into skin if it is slightly damp. So my skin is slightly damp right now. And I'm going to go in with the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. I have used this in the past loved it then and then recently i realized that i didn't really have like an essence product in my skincare routine my skin was just it seemed like it was missing something like it just wasn't as good as i feel like it could be so i decided to incorporate an essence product into my routine again and that is when i decided to bring this one back in because i did absolutely love it the first time i used it i have been using this every morning and night as my first step to prep my skin and it's such a nice lightweight texture so i feel like it can work for everyone it absorbs and hydrates the skin instantly and i feel like with overtime use it really helps your skin texture as well as brightening your skin tone very naturally i feel like it's one of the more affordable essences out there i feel like essences are products that are usually fairly expensive like we all know the sk2 one it is pretty expensive but i feel like this one's still pretty affordable and still very effective so after i apply that i apply a more slightly viscous more hydrating toner because i do have dehydrated skin and australia is going into winter the opposite to everyone else so i need something a little bit richer in my routine i am using the hydratable children premium lotion so i am using the richer version of the children premium they do have like a lighter and a richer and the richer one does have a slightly thicker texture I get a fairly generous amount and slather it on my face if you do not know which had a little lotion to choose I have done a dedicated video I've actually done that two dedicated videos Hathanable did change all of their packaging and updated most of their formulas so this is the new version that I am using um, but please watch that video if you want to know which one to choose I will say the um, Shirojun I feel like absorbs quicker than the Gokujun a lot of the time it just seems to absorb a little bit quicker which might be helpful for some people because the regular Gokujun can kind of sit on your face for a while and it does take patience to wait for it to like absorb in. And the Shirojun range is specifically to help with evening skin tone and brightening, which is definitely something I focus on. The two main things I focus on for my skincare just as a general theme is hydration and then also brightening and evening skin tone. It's just something that I guess I've always focused on, but it's also like Japanese culture and Japanese skincare in general. I feel like those are the things that are focused on the most. So Sudojin does help brighten skin tone with tranexamic acid as the main ingredient. And then the main hydrating ingredient is hyaluronic acid that um, Hathanabu is very famous for. You can see already that my skin is very plump from just those Two steps. Now we are going to go into serum. I am going to keep it simple today and just do one serum because this is the only one you need. The um, numbers and number three serum that I have mentioned so many times it is my holy grail serum because I feel like it just does everything. It uses two fermented ingredients that have been made very popular by SK2 and Estee Lauder but it's like a skin smoothing, pore reducing, evening skin tone, brightening, hydrating serum that I use all the time. I use morning and night and when I don't know what to use for a serum this is the one I use. The texture is also beautiful it spreads easily it layers with any other product without peeling or kind of being sticky or anything so 
And that is my serum step done. Now we're going to go into kind of special care. I'm going to use some eye cream. I do use eye cream every morning and night. I know it's like not everyone's thing, but ignore my dark circles right now. I've just... <laughs> had a rough couple days but i do not have fine lines like i get them obviously when i smile and with makeup on they are more prominent but generally speaking i feel like i really don't have that many fine lines around my eyes and i am turning 29 next month or literally in like a couple weeks so you know i think i'm doing all right i feel like i've been using eye cream for a while now and i do think it has helped to just keep those areas hydrated and plumped out which does lead to the reduction of fine lines and wrinkles. So I just apply it around my eyes and give it a bit of like an eye massage. And then I always use the extra amount on my laugh lines to make sure that they are kind of plumped out. The other kind of um, special treatment care item, I'm going to use the Lion Pear Acne Cream. I have talked about this one a fair few times as well, um, since it is the only spot treatment for like pimples and breakouts that I feel like actually has worked for my skin. I've tried so many spot treatments and in general, I don't break out a ton, but I do still get those pesky hormonal acne hormonal acne um, and pimples on my chin which I honestly have not been getting recently and I'm very proud of myself. You can see I had one quite recently like a few days ago it popped here but then again I feel like the scar is healing pretty quickly. Whenever I feel like feeling a little bumpy, feeling a little off, I feel like maybe there is a breakout coming. I always apply this in areas that I tend to break out on and I love it because it's got such a creamy texture. You need the tiniest little amount. It's just like a light lotion cream so it's not like other spot treatments that are thick or kind of smell weird or leave white cast. It just like blends in and that's it. Like you can use it as a part of your routine very easily without having to worry about it being a spot treatment. I will write the ingredients that they use to help fight the breakouts and that. I've actually market this one to help with kind of adult breakouts or adult pimples and acne. So I read that as a sign that it works for hormonal <laughs> breakouts which is pretty much what I get. I bought it while I was in Japan and pretty much have only been using this one since. Lastly we're going to use a moisturizer and there has been two moisturizers that I've been basically like deciding between the two every night and they're both from Claire's. I just love both of these moisturizers but I have mentioned the Midnight Blue Calming Cream about a billion times in the past. This one is amazing when I want a really like calming protective layer at night and then the other one that i have recently started trying but have absolutely fallen in love with very quickly is their rich moist soothing cream this one is a very simple very basic moisturizer but i love the texture it's like moisturizing yet like not too heavy and it kind of just sinks in the skin and it's just so comfortable generally after i exfoliate i would probably go for the blue one although since I have not really featured this one in a video or showed you guys this one and how it applies, maybe I will use this one today. I will apply just like a little bit so you guys can see the texture first. It's like fairly thick, although it just like melts into the skin. It's so nice. Mm. And it's just like not sticky yet. It's just like... I don't know, I really like it. I think sometimes you just need something basic for a moisturizer. I have noticed that the more kind of like crazy a moisturizer is or has like active ingredients or is good for this and that, I don't really like them. Not a huge fan, I guess. I feel like I just tend to gravitate to really simple moisturizers that do the job and are fuss free. I've got to make sure I apply it onto my neck. And there we go. And that is it. That is my full routine for tonight. This is how my skin is looking right now at the end of April 2022. And it is not bad. Obviously, there's um, still things that I always want to improve on, especially like skin texture, like pores around here. And I do still get the occasional breakout. But in general, I feel like my skin has definitely what's the word got more resilient and it seems to be like at the same level 
like consistently without freaking out. So I think that is a good sign. I might actually pop a little bit of lip balm on because I feel like my lips are very dry. I've been loving this lip balm lately. It is the Melty Cream Lip But Premium version. I don't know if I've ever showed you guys. One of you guys, my subscribers sent it to me from Japan and it's so nice. And it's just like a little bit thicker. I love it. It's very protective and very moisturizing. So you look how like moisturized and glossy my lips look. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of chill um, get on ready with me skincare routine. As I said, my routine can change quite drastically. This is probably a basic like normal everyday routine for me, but then tomorrow I might do like two masks and then next day I might do like just two steps in my full skincare routine. It really does change depending on how my mood is, how much time I've got, and then also how my skin is feeling. Feel free to experiment and have fun with your routine as well. Maybe I'll do these videos slightly more often than I have been um, just so I can catch up and chat with you guys and kind of show you how my skincare journey is at the moment. If you do want to check out any other videos, um, I have chosen a couple of my favorites for you guys that you can check out. I would really appreciate it. I'm really kind of far down on the frame right now. If you also haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? Please click subscribe to support me so I can keep creating content for you guys and making more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!